we have learned about the area so let's move on into the topic of volume what is volume as i already said total space covered by an object for this we can take the best example of a box the shape of cuboid the box is cuboid you can even you take your room the room which you are sitting right now that also it is like something like cuboid you will see six rectangles in the cuboid front back two rectangle right left two rectangle and top bottom two rectangles you can see in your room itself you will be having six rectangles then what it means the total space covered by six rectangles is called cuboid what if the total space covered by six squares that is cube if you take cuboid again cube is the unit centimeter cube is the standard size as i have done the square is fitting into the rectangle right likewise you have to take the cube of length breadth height everything in 1 cm that is unit cm cube you need to fill into cuboid how much number of cubes you can occupy in that cuboid will determine the volume of that cuboid as i already said for area base into height here for volume base area into height so what we should do we should take again the four basic shape by applying the base area into height as a volume we need to find the volume of those four basic shape what are all the basic shapes a cuboid with length l breadth b and height h a cylinder with radius r and height h a cube with radius r and height h a sphere with radius r these are the four basic shapes again i am telling apart from these you may see many shapes in the world but those things are combination of these four shapes or else if you break those shapes into smaller pieces you will get these four shapes so if i know the volume of these four shapes i can find out the volume of any other shape in the world so what is the volume of this shape base area base area is nothing but l into b l into b with height multiply by height l into b into h if i take this shape the base area will be in circular shape what is the area of circle we know that pi r square right so that is pi r square with that i need to multiply h so i'll get pi r square h as the volume of cylinder now moving on to cone cone is something it is not in the shape of cuboid on the cylinder now as i already compare the triangle with rectangle where i got that one rectangle is two triangles likewise i am going to compare this here in the cylinder if i compare this i can see there are three cones occupied by one cylinder so what i can do one cone sorry one cylinder equal to three cones then what about one cone one by three cylinder then what is the volume of cone volume of cone is one third of volume of cylinder that is one by three pi r square h now moving on to next shape that is a sphere if you take the sphere the volume of sphere means we don't have any base area we don't have any height what i can do the base area i can take that as circle area that is pi r square height again i can take it r for pi r square into r i'll get pi r cube right but what happen you know pi r cube is not the volume of sphere it is 4 by 3 pi r cube how the 4 by 3 came here for that 4 by 3 i need to do lots of calculations and derivations which you are not required right now so now just you need to remember there is a 4 by 3 as a constant here pi by 3 we brought it with the previous logic itself base area into height only you should remember 4 by 3 that too you should remember only 4 because 1 by 3 came here itself from that you can drag down here i personally i remember this four as i have taken four shapes that's why i have taken four so volume of 
The sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. What happens if I take the volume of hemisphere? That will be 2 by 3 pi r cube because half of the volume, that is half of 4 by 3 is 2 by 3. So half of the volume. So volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube, volume of sphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube.